Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the January love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Alright Capricorns, you're up next. I'm a little bit late with the January readings. I had a lot of other readings to get out, but here we are. Now your 2020 outlook, your 2020 love outlook is already uh, linked in the description. Those videos are up. Your weekly video, of course, is already up for this week. So um, let's get right into it, all right? Show me what's going on for my lovely Capricorn this January. Now we're going to pull out a full Celtic spread for you. This is going to be in the area of love, but it could be for a single Capricorn. <clears throat> it could be for a Capricorn that is involved. It really doesn't matter. It's a general love outlook. Give us one more shuffle. All right, guys. Straight out, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Covered by Empress Energy. Your conscious position, you have Queen of Cups. Unconscious, you have a Page of Pentacles. Coming to the month with an Ace of Swords, which is all about clarity, you round out with a Knight of Pentacles. Your attitude towards love and what greets you are Knight of Swords and full energy. Your hopes and wishes and your fears are represented by the world and your outcome is the devil. There you are showing up in your own reading. Of course, the devil card is the card for Capricorn. And at the bottom of the deck, we have an ace of wands wow uh, excuse me ace of cups wow so ace of cups definitely we are talking about <clears throat> new love coming in for you right this is very nice when we're talking about a love reading of course um and right at the center we have our beautiful wheel of fortune covered by the empress now quite a few major arcana we have four major four four major arcana and a couple of very nice court cards. Uh, so let's get right into it, Capricorn. Straight out for you this month is all about the Wheel of Fortune covered by Empress Energy. So the wheel is turning for you, right? We're talking about fate has its eyes on you and is bringing you opportunities. Good, fortuitous opportunities. And I'm going to say this is definitely an opportunity in love. I want to say this reading right away from the overall is a love connection, a new love connection for a Capricorn out there. Covered by Empress Energy. So the energy that's covering you this month, of course, when we talk about the Empress, we talk about be, being full of sort of beauty, creativity, right? Nurturing yourself. This is a very good month for you in terms of you taking care of your heart, Capricorn, right? Also, the Empress is very sort of, um, she's not beholden to anyone but the Emperor, right? And so she's not going to just accept anyone into her life. She is the most important thing to her in a lot of ways. She understands, you know, the need to continually fertilize her creative uh, potential, to nourish her mind, body, and spirit, to take care of herself. And I think this is a very nice reading in a sense that uh, some Capricorn out there is very healthy, right? You're, you, you've gotten some work done perhaps in terms of your soul, your emotions, and you're in a really good space. No wonder the wheel is turning for you, right? Uh, Empress energy, it means you've definitely been working on yourself. You've been working on your... Um, your health, you've been working on your mind, you've been working on your creativity. If there was any sort of toxicity or baggage or, or dysfunction there, you've been working to get rid of all of that. And that is really, really nice. Focus and uh, your conscious and unconscious position. Well, in your conscious position, you're absolutely ready to exchange your cup of love with someone, right? Queen of Cups talks about being very, very open, exchanging this cup of love being ready. She's also extremely emotionally healthy. And so this is another reason why I say Capricorn, uh, for those of you resonating with this reading, you have done whatever work you needed to do to get you to a state of emotional stability. The kind of emotional stability that 
You needn't be afraid to exchange your cup of love with someone, right? You, you don't need to be worried that, oh, you know, what if they hurt me? I'm going to be an emotional cripple. You won't because the Queen of Cups, she understands herself so completely. You know, when you hear that term as above, so below, this is the Queen of Cups. She absolutely wears her heart on her sleeve and her feelings are already validated. She doesn't need anyone to validate them. And so she gets in, involved with someone and it doesn't work out. She simply moves on. She takes her cup of love back. You know, she doesn't get vindictive or petty or spiteful. She doesn't end up locking herself away from the rest of the world and saying, I'll never love again. She simply takes her cup of love back and moves on. In the bottom of the uh, spread, you have Page of Pentacles, which is your unconscious position. And this month, you're being extremely practical, right? Going on with your day-to-day -day sort of uh, activities, right? You're working through, you may be working on a new sort of um, creative endeavor in terms of your uh, career or business. But this practicality is also uh, merging with your love life in the sense that um, your head is not up in the clouds, right? You're doing very real things uh, in the back of your mind Consciously, you're ready for love, but in the back of your mind, you're remaining grounded here. You're remaining very, very grounded. You're understanding that the need, uh, you know, that the desire to bring in love is not a need. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that what brings in love is just very sort of regular, active, sort of, um, I want to say proactive, um, practical steps towards it, right? Going out, you know, doing what the things that you need to do, perhaps to be more sort of sociable, if that's the area, you know, if that's a need. Um, taking care of business at the same time as having enough energy for love. Ace of Swords is the energy you come into the month with, and Knight of Pentacles is the energy you round the month off with. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not surprised about this uh, Pentacles uh, energy sort of merging with your love life because you are an earth sign. And so for you being practical and taking, um, taking daily steps, you know, every day to just get on with your career, get on with your business in a very sort of healthy way, uh, understanding that, you know, one doesn't have to suffer for the other, that there's enough room for both in your life is absolutely a Capricorn thing. Ace of Swords is how you come in and Knight of Pentacles is how you round this month off. So Ace of Swords is clarity coming in. Um, if there was confusion or if there was a haze that you were in before, you're absolutely over that. Ace of Swords definitely talks about original thinking. It can also be a feeling of vindication. So perhaps for some of you, if you were in a love connection before that obviously didn't work out because you're not in it now or that was, you know, a little bit toxic, uh, you feel very vindicated right now because you are so emotionally healthy. Whatever work you've done, you know, I'm going to say, you know, whatever work, if there was a uh, shadow work to do, you've done it and you've absolutely emerged from sort of that darkness if it was there and you've really come out to the light. This month, you are going to be absolutely clear-headed. You round the month off with a Knight of Pentacles, and this definitely indicates a continuing need for you to follow your goals and your career, your business. You're remaining extremely balanced. I, you know, I honestly, I've never really... It's been a long time since I've seen this healthy of a reading and a love reading, right? Without any toxicity at all. This is absolutely a reaffirmation reading. I'm going to say for a Capricorn out there who is also doing very well in business. I wonder perhaps this Knight of Pentacles may have come out because uh, perhaps it was in the past. Uh, you may have, like I said, if you were in a relationship before that wasn't really so good for you. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and it may have had an impact on your career. All of that has come right to a nice balanced level. You won't allow that to happen again. I'm going to say if you were in a relationship before that, um, like I said, if it was a little difficult, you know, um, or if it was a little bit of toxic, right, energy, it may have stunted your ability to progress in your career or your business. This is not going to happen anymore. You're absolutely committed 
And you understand you have a nice balance here with this Queen of Cups and Knight of Pentacles because you're going to remain emotionally healthy and open while you're continuing your business. And I don't see anyone coming into your life. Um, you're not going to allow anyone, let me say, to come into your life that's going to make you compromise that again. If you did in the past, you will not be compromising that again. Um, because you understand, you know, you've gotten to such a nice, even place in your life, um, emotionally, right, mentally and, and physically with regard to your career that you understand that um, you don't have to give up any of your uh, passions for your business or your career or whatever it is you do for money, you know, whatever that path is for you, you understand that you don't have to give that up. And so you are absolutely committed to that at the same time. The Knight of Pentacles is the most committed knight in the deck. He may take some time to arrive at his destination, but he will absolutely not stop until he gets there. Now, you round you come into this month with an energy of King of Swords with and you and you are met with full energy. So King of Swords is very sort of the King of Swords by the way is very much the sort of uh the rule maker and the great disciplinarian, right? He's the one who sort of comes in and sets down the law. He tells you how things are going to be. He's very severe, very strict. He is, however, extremely honest, and he requires those around him to be just as honest. And although I'm going to say there is a very healthy aspect here, a lot of you Capricorns who are resonating with this are certainly approaching love this month with a uh, severity in the sense that you just not you just won't tolerate any bullshit. You know, you are not tolerate any bullshit. Your standard. Is your bar that somebody has to reach is very high and good on you. It should be. It's absolutely, we have absolutely too many examples of people literally going out with anybody that is willing to sort of have them literally that, um, that's why a lot of people are constantly in these horrible, toxic situations. The level of the, the overall level of self-esteem in society nowadays is very, very low, despite everyone sort of on the surface pretending that their, their self-esteem is so high. It's actually extremely low. And this is another reason why a lot of us are getting into these absolutely ridiculous uh, relationships, which, you know, where you're allowing people to ghost you and yet you still call them your soulmate. It's just, uh, uh, you know, you're not doing it. You're not standing for it. You know, you are absolutely sort of uh, really setting the example for what is a healthy way to discern a proper love connection. Uh, and it is healthy to be strict at the beginning and to be severe and to insist that whoever you deal with is honest. You're met with full energy and this is a feeling of this being a very new stage in life for you, a whole new path. And again, it can be Capricorn that you did all of the shadow work you needed to do to finally learn this lesson, right? If you didn't know the lesson before, um, this is a whole new way of living your life. You will know this is absolutely for a Capricorn who will not allow uh, their standards to drop anymore, right? You're not going to, you know, you will not go back to sort of just putting up with anything. There's been, you know, this has happened. It must surely has happened to you in the past. You just won't, you just won't put up with it. World energy is your hopes and dreams and your fears oftentimes, right? And the world talks about really being exactly where you want to be in life, knowing that you are exactly at the right place in your life, right? Um, and this is your wish, and this is absolutely what you're manifesting. It is, however, the position for your fears as well. And I think that this is probably uh, why you are being so... Um, I'm going to say this is probably why you are holding on so strongly uh, to this new kind of way of interacting, you know, why you're holding on, why you're so grounded, you know, in this, in this way of behaving, in this way of seeking out love, which is very, very healthy, which is putting yourself first, loving yourself first. If I was pulling romance angel messages, I'm sure love yourself first will come out. Um, and so the thing is, it is a fear of yours to go back to that, you know, it's a fear of, uh, although, you know, it's not only is it a wish to be uh, sort of on the right path, you fear losing that. 
And so you won't allow that to happen, right? Because this is a position for your fears as well. And I think for the Capricorn who resonates with this, you know, the, the fear of sort of um, not finding yourself where you want to be in life, not finding yourself at exactly the right place, the right time, and feeling and knowing that you are doing everything, you know, that you are on your real destined path, right? Where you should be. The fear of losing that, is the one th is something that you've experienced you know you've experienced that loss and the fear of going through that again is what has really sort of uh helped you stabilize so strongly because you got it you know you got it you figured it out you figured out that you know um it's not worth it it's not worth losing yourself. It's not worth losing losing your path. Your outcome for the month is devil energy and this is your card. And oftentimes the devil does represent dysfunction. It represents codependency. But the flip side to the devil card is that uh, the devil also represents the highest level of creativity here on earth. When we have our creative, you know, our creative energies come from our passions. And this all comes from the second chakra, which is associated with sex, reproduction, lust, passion, desire. You know, it's our desires that make us creative. You know, the, you know, an example, of course, what is the highest form of creation here on earth? Is a baby, you know, bringing life into this world. How do we do it? By having sex, because we desire each other. So to, to you know, to not understand that this, this uh, chakra, this area, which is represented by devil energy, and which in its negative form can be dysfunction and codependency and addiction, um, and reasons why this, why it becomes a codependency addiction is when our, our creative energies are stifled or they're blocked or they're not connected to our higher purpose. When our creative desires are not connected to a higher spiritual purpose or a higher emotional purpose, right? Um, that's when we seek instant gratification and that's when we fall into codependency. But when the devil energy is, uh, I want to say when that has sort of been raised up, right? When the devil energy has sort of been brought out into its most positive form, this is when we create symphonies. This is when we create works of art, you know, inventions, babies. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm going to say for, for you in this reading, you are embodying the best of devil energy, the best of your creative energy. You are feeling the most in your skin this month, Capricorn. What can I say? It's an incredible reading. Definitely going to be opening up uh, an Ace of Cups love for you. I'm going to give you a quick sort of... Um, I'm going to pull out a quick set of clarifier cards just for your conscious, unconscious, and your before and after. Wow. I don't know what to say. I haven't seen this healthy of a spread in quite some time, certainly when it comes to love, Capricorn. And you deserve it because you've had quite a lot going on these last few months. Certainly in my readings, you have. Um, all right, let's see. Give me some clarity for Capricorn, January 2020. Show me. Of course, I always get my clarifiers from my Thoth deck. I've had this deck for over 25 years. It's still in great shape. <clears throat> All right. Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Very nice. All right, guys. So bottom of the deck, <laughs> here's your chariot. All right, Capricorn, absolutely going on a new adventure, right? Starting laying the groundwork for the beginning of the rest of your life, which is going to be quite healthy. Eight of Swords is covering this Queen of Cups. Absolutely, there was toxicity before and you've come right out of it. Whatever interference came into your life, this is definitely something you've overcome. 
I'm gonna say this is certainly a Capricorn who has done the work, the shadow work, you know? There was toxicity there, there was pain. And I think it was yours. I think you realized exactly how you were um, interfering with your own life. And that wake up call, I don't know what it is that happened because I'm not doing a, a reading for on the past, but uh, Capricorn, whatever that wake up call was to you to get out of that toxicity, you absolutely brought it, right? Um, Eight of Swords is usually in the traditional deck. It's that figure that's surrounded by the swords and she's bound and blindfolded, right? Eight is also the number for boundaries. You've learned about boundaries and setting boundaries, enforcing boundaries. All of this shadow work has helped you resonate right up to the Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles works. Yeah, you are busy, mind, body, and soul with your work. Look at that. It's Mars and Capricorn energy, right? So you're moving forward with your career. Uh, you're not letting that go. That is always going to be in the back of your mind and your unconscious driving you. It's something you won't give up again, you know. And right here we have a four of pentacles, but I'll get, get to that. Knight of swords and ace of swords. Uh, Knight of swords in the uh, soft deck is the same as um, the king of swords. So the king of swords has shown up again. And uh, yeah, this is your attitude this month. Clarity, attacking, you know, every situation with you know, inventive, creative thinking, being open, yet at the same time being very sort of focused and intentional. Ideas are coming to you. And that, again, a sense of vindication is coming in. It could very well be that wherever, whatever relationship before that perhaps had you feeling a bit toxic, which you worked through, um, you feel as if it, this was a victory in a lot of ways, right? Because you won. You were vindicated, you know. You may have even been in a relationship with somebody who told you you would never be anything. You would never get the help you needed to get for yourself. You would never resonate or transcend your problems. And it feels to you like very much you have, and so you are off with it. And again, Knight of Swords, King of Swords, they're the same card. And so in a lot of ways, you have really sort of uh, stabilized and legitimized the way you're going to move forward. Nobody can ever really tell you how to handle your relationships anymore. Four of Pentacles is coming over that night. So power, more, look at this, more Capricorn energy. Now we have the sun in Capricorn, right? You can see the sun in Capricorn. So you have Mars in Capricorn, the sun in Capricorn. Wow, what an absolutely transcendent Capricorn you are this month. Four of Pentacles uh, talks about um, having a strong power base, maintaining your stability, right? Can talk about, sometimes you can talk about fear of losing stability, but absolutely this month, you don't fear losing any stability. You certainly don't fear losing any stability in your career. And again, this is for a Capricorn who perhaps at one point in your life were in a relationship that did cause you to sort of begin to falter with regard to how much energy you're putting into your career, never again. You will absolutely maintain your stability, your power base, your groundedness. This is your reading Capricorn for January, and I have to say this is one of the best readings I've seen for a sign in a very long time, really. I wish you nothing but the best. I hope you enjoyed this as, I, as have I. Um, please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed my readings. Go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But for right now, Capricorn, whew, have a wonderful month of January. Bye-bye now.